In this video, I'm going to show you how to live stream on iPad, YouTube. I mean, how to have like a live video on YouTube from the iPad. And there are two possible things you may want to do with your iPad. First is the live stream, like a video using the camera of the iPad, whether the front or rear facing camera. Or second, live stream a screen recording. So only the stuff you do on the screen are going to be visible, either with or without your voiceover. So I will go over it. Start with the screen recording live stream. You may want to do it, for example, when you want to show or to share how you're playing a game. For example, when you want to teach something on a whiteboard or using any other app or anything else that doesn't require a camera, just the screen that will be broadcasted. Now make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm before we officially begin. At first, what you have to do is to go to the settings and then click on the control center section. Then tap on customize controls and make sure that the screen record icon is in the upper section. If not, just click on the green plus icon next to it and it's gonna make it go up. And this will of course make it show up in the control center. Control center shows up when you swipe down from the upper right corner. And when you've added the screen recording icon, it's always gonna be there. If this isn't available to you, meaning that you cannot find this option, then make sure to update your iPad to the latest version of the iPad OS. So in order to share your screen as a live video, you will need to download a free app from the App Store that enables this functionality. The link can of course be found down below. And the way it works is that this, this app takes the screen recording and makes it appear on your YouTube channel. That's why you need it. By the way, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe so you won't miss the next videos that will help you with your Apple tech. Okay, so open up the app, the one I told you to download, and set everything up. That means that log in with your YouTube account, of course, if you want to stream to YouTube, but this is going to be required. Then tap on stream your games. Then you can enable camera and microphone access if you want. Then click on the menu, which is in the upper left corner. And there you will see the option which says screen capture. So make sure to tap on it. And then you just have to go through the process and set everything up. So just tap on and choose the platform. It's also, of course going to be YouTube since this is the only account that you've connected to this app. Then tap on create event. Then create a title, type it in, and now, depending on your situation, it will either be allowed or it won't be. That depends on Google's rules and what you are actually doing with your YouTube channel. They have some conditions you have to meet before you can go live on YouTube. For example, that according to Google, that includes at least 1,000 subscribers to go live on a mobile device. And iPads are, of course, classified and considered to be a mobile device, so it applies to them as well. You can, however, go live using just the computer even without those 1000 subscribers beforehand, but you won't be able to do it on an iPhone or any other uh, smartphone or tablet. But let's assume that you meet this criteria. So now you won't get this pop-up and the app will simply start broadcasting to YouTube. So at this point you leave the app and then you swipe down to get to the control center. And the icon that we added previously, the one for the screen recording, make sure to hold down to it. And there are going to be a couple of options, so you're going to tap on the Streamlabs. This is the title and the name of the app that we have just downloaded. Keep in mind that you can decide if you want to use a microphone or not just by tapping on this button underneath the toggle. So you can either enable or disable external sound or you're done, you won't be able to make like a voiceover and talk over the video. So that's how you share a screen recording as a live YouTube video. For regular live streams, which are those that only use the camera, meaning that you simply Put a tablet or a smartphone on a place and you just make you just want to make it go live. Well, for this, make sure to have the YouTube app downloaded, of course, be uh, logged in and all of that. And then click on the plus icon, which is in the bottom 
in the bottom portion, like in the middle somewhere. Again, if your YouTube environment looks a little bit different, then make sure to update the app to the latest version. After you click on the plus icon, you just click on go live. And this will again only allow you to do so if you meet the conditions, which include of course those 1000 subscribers to begin with. So I know it's kind of limited, but this is this is how it is. These are the rules officially from Google. And there isn't pretty much anything what we can do about it. So now that is it guys, hopefully it helped you. I really, I'm really saying that uh, if you're mad that you cannot really go live, I mean, it's the Google's fault or it's their requirements that you just have to meet. There is nothing what I can do about it in order to help you as much as I would want. I mean, if you don't have those 1000 subscribers, you will simply not be able to do so. But for the people that do have them, it's just going to be simple and they can only just follow this exact tutorial and yeah, you're going to be good to go. So again, thank you very much for watching and your support. I wish you all the best in this year. We're getting close to 100K. So if you can subscribe, just do it. I'm going to be appreciating it a lot. So thanks a lot for your support and see you guys later in the next episode. Peace out, guys.